planner babes Ashley here in this video we're gonna take a look at my 2022 planner setup I finally got this thing hashed out and and set up in a way I think is gonna work for me at least for a few months for the time being you guys know how it is we're constantly changing planners changing layout styles all the things but this is my current setup for the new year um, let's go ahead and dive in. So all of the products inside of here are from the Happy Planner, minus a couple of things. I do have some things from Etsy. Oh, and I think that's it. So everything else is from the Happy Planner, and I'll link to their website down below. The cover for this actually come off of this vertical planner. I was going to use a vertical planner this year, but I decided not to. And uh, I don't know the names to all of these planners. Normally, I'm, I'm, I keep up with all that, and I know the names to them, but... I haven't for a while and that's okay but this is where the cover come from and it says 2022 I really like the the cover on this I also like the inside cover these little sticky notes are from Etsy and I had stuck them to um, like when the happy planner when you get an accessory pack they have the little sticky notes in there and it comes with this little plastic thing behind it and I had stuck these down on there with some Tombow double-sided adhesive tape so I stuck those down on there it was already punched because it come in one of the accessory packs and so those are in there and I have these sticky notes I use these a lot for pre-planning and then I also use them whenever I have like tentative dates so things that you know are, are scheduled for this date but I'm not 100% for sure it's easier to remove a sticky note than it is to cover up something well a sticker will cover up anything but sometimes you need that space for something else so um, I have my sticky notes up here I don't know which um, so it looks like the the title name page come out of this planner this is a line vertical um, I actually am using that one for my fitness planner this year but we first open this up this goes right to daily pages that I have inside of here um, Sometimes I use these sometimes I don't the last time I used it was a few days ago on the second didn't end up doing any of these things because I had been sick so I have the daily pages up here. There's Just a few of them a couple of sheets of note paper that I have up here and Then this one is an extension pack from the happy planner. It is the Hourly layout. So there's a monthly section here, which I won't be using we flip it over, there's a place for you to set goals, your top priorities list, which I wanna sit down and do this and fill this page out, but I haven't done that yet. You have things to follow up on, a tasks list, which I might not end up using these ones. I thought about maybe um, just adhering these two pages together. And so then we go from the goals page to the weekly page. Now, I really like doing this, having this inside of my planner. I used it for a long time, or at least a, an extension pack similar I used one and I use this to like once I plan out the week in my in the rest of my planner I use these weekly hourly pages to block schedule my week so I really do like these I have I'm not using it this week again I haven't felt good so um, hanging out and and getting uh, feeling better is is my goal for the week so I haven't really uh, messed with anything so I just have one month of that up here and it's kind of thick just because there's um, those follow up and task lists in between each week but that's up here and then we go into my fitness planner and again I'm using this line to vertical it's a 12 month planner my planner is a classic size so I just have January in here not sure that I'll use the monthly section of this but the weekly section um, I like it this is the current week that we're on and so this week I decided not to mess with stickers I just have breakfast lunch dinner snacks I'm tracking my water, how many diet dues I'm drinking, and how much coffee I'm drinking each day. And then I did do a little bit of journaling here about not doing a workout. Again, I haven't felt good, so um, I'm not going to do a workout right now. This little page, I actually have a video showing you guys how I create these little inspo boards that go inside of my planner. I will link to that video down below, so that's in here. So Line to Vertical is for fitness, and I like it because... There's a way to, like you can section everything out if you want to use stickers, make it really super cute, but it can also be really functional. And then with fitness where I'm writing out my meals and all that stuff, and it's nice to have the lines. So I can do that and then I can set my priority for the day up here, but this week's a little off, which is okay. So after my fitness planner, we go into what I, what I consider my catch-all planner. And this year I'm changing it up. Last year I had a 
I had a fitness planner, a social media planner, and a catch-all planner. And this year I have combined my social and my catch-all and I'm just gonna do all of those together. And that way I don't have as many planners that I'm trying to work inside of. So this is my catch-all planner. The calendar of this is where I put my work schedule and then anything related to my son, my husband, myself, appointments, etc. will all go inside of here. Nothing social media will really go inside of here um, unless I plan out my YouTube videos because sometimes I do like setting down and having those planned out for the month, but we'll see. Um, it's a dashboard layout and for this one it is this planner. It is neutral, which I love. It's a 12 month planner. The reason I love the dashboard layout is there's plenty of space to be functional, but then also to decorate. So here's the current week that we're on. I've got a lot of fun boxes in here, some um, checklist style things, and there's still tons of space. So the way that I'm currently using this, this box up here is for my goals for the week. This is a general to-do list, so just things that I need to do regardless of the day. Over here, I have my Instagram posts that I want to do this week, plus what YouTube videos I want to post. Here, I just wrote down what I was reading. Um, sometimes I might decorate that. I might change this up completely. You never know. But down here, I do have my what I thought was going to be my workout schedule this week, but I'm not feeling good, so I haven't been sticking up with that, but that's okay. Uh, so this is kind of a space for me, able, for me to be able to see and at a glance of the entire week just what's going on. Over here on this side, I was doing dinners and my schedule overview. So this is where I can kind of quickly look and see when I work, what we have going on, appointments, and then what's for dinner, just as a quick at a glance type page or type section. And then the days of the week, that's where I kind of hash out more day specific things that I have going on. So that's how I plan on using this for now. Like I said, things always change. And the cool thing about the dashboard layout is that you can use it as it comes. So I could do errands up here, get it done. If I had calls and emails, which I usually don't noted down here, it says focus on, I could totally leave this this way, make it functional and use it that way. Or you can use stickers or whatever to cover up those things and retitle everything. And I've done that plenty of times. So I have January and February in here for my catch all. February, I will start pre-planning um, with those sticky notes that I keep up front. So pre-planning, looking at my work schedule, appointments, things like that. And then next up, we have menus. I want to be more diligent about planning out our meals for the week for a couple of reasons. One, I, um, I've gained a lot of weight. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I've gained so much weight. It's just ridiculous. And I need to start eating better because if I leave this to chance, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna hit the drive-thru or I'm gonna make it quick and easy and I'm not gonna mess with cooking. Versus if I plan everything out, I already have the groceries here, I know what's going on, I'm more likely to do that and then we're eating healthier because I'm cooking at home. So that's the two main reasons why this is very important to me and I went ahead and stuck it inside of here. Um, just keeping it simple, not decorating this spot, just gonna plan out our meals down here. Um, this sticky note was just, I started brainstorming some uh, meal ideas, but below that, this is where I can write recipes if I need to. I can put food prep lists, so if there's, um, for example, I work Saturday and Sunday, so um, I would write out here what all I needed to food prep to take food to work with me, so uh, this is kind of where all of that's happening. Meal planning and then figuring out what I'm food prepping for the week. So I just have one section, I actually think it comes with more than a month in one section. There's one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine weeks worth of uh, space in here to meal prep, so that's really awesome. This section here is a section that I have designated for a uh, list that I've already made in no particular order just lists, ideas, brainstorms, things that I was working on, all right here in this one little section. And then back here, this is my notes section. So this is where should be blank note paper, um, but I've been taking some notes on here. So I, these, I'm actually gonna leave these ones here, but normally I would take these pages out once I've completed them and I would stick them up here. Um, so there's just a 
plethora of different note paper back here the happy planner come out with these lined sheets and i love those i went ahead and ordered a couple packs of them because i it's very simple but it's got the lines so i can you know when you're taking notes or whatever so highly recommend those and then that my friends is going to be my planner setup i i am not using as many planners so i have two planners and two accessory packs inside of here so i've got my lined vertical for fitness i have the dashboard for catch all and social media and then i have a, the menu extension and the weekly hourly extension and then i guess you could consider it an extension pack it's the daily sheets like i said sometimes i use them sometimes i don't it just depends on how the day is going but this is my setup so far we'll see how long i stick with this but as this changes i will definitely update you guys and i'll make a new video hey don't forget to hit that subscribe button seriously have an incredible day my friend and i will see you in the next video